Mr. Aravumbechi. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Matthew. We just saw this morning that uh, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinubu, Nigerian president, is saying, I take responsibility for the suffering, hmm. for the high economic hardship, hmm. for the social economic uh, crisis, uh -huh. for the um, exchange rate crisis. Yes. And some people are saying, what are you doing? Resign. I say, give me more time. What's your reaction? I think uh, taking responsibility for the excruciating hardship and high cost of living in the country, if not resign, I mean, Mr. President, all his sayings, all his ranting amounts to nothing. Mere nonsense. In the white Western world, if any leader, president, or prime minister takes responsibility for any wrongdoing or happening in his country, the resultant effect, the result, the final result is resignation. You leave that office for someone else that could do better than you. And this one is saying, give me time. No, 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 not giving him time to do what? Surrounded all around him are political usurpers, people that are stealing public funds. They are all surrounding the office of the president. They all are surrounding or surrounded Buhari, siphoning money. How is he going to get it right? If we want to get it right, the only thing to do is resign the allow another person or you make a public announcement or broadcast in the radio, TV stations and other media houses that you have relinquished power to the party that has won this election that was conducted last year. That is OB. You step out of that office and give mandate to he that was, you know, given. It was given to OB. The mandate Nigerians gave to be is where you are right now, telling us all these stories. I don't believe him. I don't believe giving him time. Time. Nothing like giving a president like Tinubu time. We've given him enough time. He's there for almost one year now. But he's saying he wants to implement uh, an outside no. report. No, 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 no. Nigerians voted to be. Obi had a plan. Obi told the whole world the plan he has for Nigerians. And they, there's no way we could we give him time again. We are facing the hardship as a result of oil subsidy. Subsidy. God! We are facing hard time in Nigeria as a result of pump price, fuel pump price from 185 to 700 naira. Pump price, fuel, per liter. We have given him enough time. How that is exchange rate? Okay, let me tell you. Exchange rate, dollar has what? Crucified Naira. As a result of government policy. The national currency, the currency that Nigerians are using since 1970, after the war, 1973, I think. Dollar came, uh, Naira came to be 1973, I think. Till date, dollar has crushed Naira. Exchange rate is almost two thousand per dollar. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tribu is not doing anything there. I, I, don't, I don't accept anything like apology or all this cox and bulls story. But his son he should resign. His son said Tribu said we should give the father chance. No, no, no. Time. His son said Tribu should come to our shoes. He should come to my shoes. He should be in my own situation or position or condition. I just want him to feel the common man. First of all, first and foremost, he should release, you know, uh, remove his wristwatch. Let us sell it and nobody can use the money to for the poor, the less privileged at aggregate, aggregate railway station there, and other orphanage homes across Lagos. We don't hear that kind of cock and bull stories, tales many times in the past. Jake Tulubu should not sell it. He's not in the position to talk. He's not in the position. During 2020 presidential election and gubernatorial govern election in Lagos State, the like of Jake Tulubu were chasing us out of Lagos down to southeast to go and vote. The southwest does not belong to Ibama. Now, all one and moment, it is time for action. His father is incapable. He's clueless. He doesn't have what it takes to what rule Nigeria to be a president. That's what it spares. That is where it is going. So I don't accept pleading. No, you don't plead. What are the ones that you resign? What are the ones that came from no, the no, one? Let me Say what? Asking us to give the husband time. To give the okay, the only pastor, the pastor.
that has resigned. Well, I don't know whether she is still a pastor. See, let me tell you. I have never read in the Bible that a pastor, a man of God, a prophet can resign. It's either you follow the other way of the Lucifer or you remain with God. A man of God, a woman of God does not resign and they go to the other side after rubbishing God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit he will come back to church again and start carrying that pastoral responsibility or prophetical uh, whatever ambition. No, it's either you step the other way of Lucifer and stay there or you stay with God. Oluremi Tunuku is not in the position to say anything. I don't think personally myself and myself, I can't take it. Other Nigerians can take it. I don't take anything from that woman. Please. Um, okay, now that the president is saying I'm responsible for all the suffering and uh, Nigerians are speaking from different uh, perspectives. Yeah. What is your advice to Nigerians? My advice to Nigerians will say it. Particularly labor. Labor, That yes. protected one day and uh, suspended their Labor purpose. was intimidated out, threatened, and, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, let me say, mocked, threatened, intimidated, and mocked out of streets. Let me explain. Not out of the street where they are protecting, where they were protesting. The IG of police is at the head of the mob. IG of police bought biscuits, pure water, and started throwing it at those protesters. And they started eating biscuits, drinking pure water. It's mockery, insult. Biscuit is nothing. They are not asking for biscuits. They are asking for what? Low cost of living to come down. That is good governance. Two industrialization of Nigeria. Let Nigeria become a production country so that dollar will crash. Three, infrastructural amenities, 24 hours life, power plants to be put in place all over Nigeria. The protests of the levels are many. Minimum wage, or what they call the wage, the salary, increment. I didn't understand. They are protesting for many things, not mockery, throwing biscuit and the pure water. Are you listening to me? Then threatening. The same police that threw pure water and biscuits at these people, threatening them out of the street. Not even shooting with a, 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 a rubber blade or, or hot water or whatever. They want to shoot live blade at this people. Police threatening them, BSS threatening them. Don't come out to protest. Whatever you see, you will take. That is death. Threatening. So that's why I'm still saying that Ajero me. He, that Joe Ajero. He, Ajo, Joe Ajo, Joe Ajero, Ajero did not do the normal thing. You should have stayed. As Adam Oshomele stayed. You should have stayed. As labor in the West world always stay. Anytime they are threatened, they will do the normal. The normal thing. They will arrest them. They will, they will, they will jail them. Think about Frank Okori. What happened to Frank Okori in the 90s? The military era, Kokori resisted them. Kokori was there. Kokori shot Nigeria down. Adam Ochomole shot Nigeria down. Joe Ajero, from uh, I don't know where he comes from. From Imo anyway, State. Where he comes from. From Imo State. Yes, from Imo State. You are an Igbo man. You, did not, you are not behaving like an Igbo man. If you actually know that you won't be, you know, you are not competent to be in that position, you should have what resigned honorably. And allow another person to take over that office of Nigerian Labour Congress and the secretary there, pack all your load and go. Nothing like threats. Tell us that you have failed us. Thank That's you. all. Ajero, Ajero, okay. tell us that you have failed us. Government is government. The only tool to fight government is peaceful protest, as you were embarking previously. Now, you are coming out with the schools. I'm telling you, Oga, hey, Bill, I say, don't chop on you. I say, I just they ask you. We don't chop money. Really. Thank you, you very much, Mr. Adam. Thank you. Liwa, let's have your view. Good morning. Um, we are looking at Mr. President Senator Ahmed Balatunugu accepting responsibility for the economic hardship, for exchange rates. In fact, generally, the hardship Nigerians are passing through. And some Nigerians are saying, throw in the trial, we are resigned. And Mr. President is saying, give me more time. What is your reaction? No, no um, Good morning, everyone. My name is Lua Olasukome. Our opponent is saying it. I mean, state is saying it. Our politicians, they don't care about us. They are only there after their own interest. And 
You see, if you say give me more time, resign. It is in between. You understand? But I've always felt that our president, I mean, this was, I didn't, I'm obedient. Um, of everything I do was to campaign for me and everything. I don't think Bola well, Metinubu has the ability to govern this country. I don't, but that's my opinion, I don't think so. But uh, uh, let us give him more time. Even, even in giving me more time, I, I, I feel that it's still going to be the same of the same time. Let me give you an example. I've been, I've, I've been conscious in saying this. See, government, Nigeria for example, they have different kinds of religion. And for there to be peace and prosperity, there must be equality and justice. You understand? One of the things why Bari failed was putting people in sensitive positions from his time. You understand? Our president has done this thing. And I say it today. Let me give you an example. You saw a person, you saw, you saw a person just in one of the best in gym. Even though the man had his flaws. But in the, in, in the, financial, in the financial sector, which, which is very, very key to the economy, you saw him, the man brought in, in, in Gozo Gozo Riala from the Igbo tribe, for example. The, the stock exchange, the DG was an equal man too. Now, come now in, in, 20, in 2024, within finance, the finance minister within is the Obama, the Obama, CBN is the Obama. The Obama. 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 See, it, it does not work like that. You must give people sense of belonging. That's what I'm saying that you can say, I, I mean, I won't say resign or anything or give me more time. But my own personal opinion is, sir, after four years you'll be here, I don't think the man has the ability to... Don't forget to tell them, my daddy will use 80 years. <laughs> no, 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 there's no, there's no problem. You can even use 16 years. But the most important thing is, four years is enough. When, you saw Ambody, for example, and Lagos State Government. Four years. His name, you always know the matter of people. So, even if you use eight years, ten years, Impact what you did in the life of people will be felt. Better use six years. Other than government, for example, bank of us is seven thousand five hundred. Now it's almost eighty thousand. So if you know, your minimum wage is thirty thousand now. One cup of air, uh, one liter of rice is one thousand six. That means your minimum wage can only afford ten thousand now. Can only afford fourteen liter of rice. Uh, fourteen years, fourteen liter of rice. The minimum for a whole month. Now, what is your assessment of uh, labor uh, uh, protest yesterday? My brother, sir. That, that, I, 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 I was telling my colleague here, David, I said that protest was like a Nollywood skit. So the film in Nigeria there was a protest and police is sharing uh, biscuit and, and beer water. That was a skit. That was never a protest, sir. That was that. No, I'm telling you, you see, you see, you, see, you can't trust our leaders. For example, you, did, you said protest was for two days. After one day, you called, you called up the protest. That a protest. You should have done your own work. You are going this for two days. That's what the, that's what the president said. The, the, the project was unnecessary. Yes, it was unnecessary. You can't be receiving Nigeria. Somebody was saying, oh, I, I said collected money. I can't save. But, but we don't trust our leader. In Nigeria, you saw a snake swallowed money. So he has swallowed money. So I can't, so I, I, I can't, I can't come out to say he has collected money. But there's something fishy somewhere. But, but I've already said this. By the time this hunger goes round, it is we really Nigeria that will come out ourselves and make peaceful protest. I am for peace for anything peaceful. I'm not calling for any overthrow of any government. I'm not calling for any revolution. I'm talking about peaceful. We will come out ourselves. I don't. Labour cannot represent me. I don't trust them. I'm, you, can't, you can't keep doing the same thing over, over and over again. It's very different result. You do put them for one day. You said you are calling. You want to give government charge. You, you should have done that. You, have done you can't come here this morning and say, uh, let us give. That's why there are, there are some rumors flying around that this one has collected money, which I can't say for, for a fact that you have collected, but we don't trust, we don't trust these people. So do your own work. You can't, you can't, you can't be sparking in the day, then in the night, you go and meet the same people and do some deals behind us. You are not fools. Nobody can deceive us. You are 19 years. So any start. word of encouragement for Nigerians who are passing through hardship as a result of these policies? I don't have any word. I don't, I don't have any word of encouragement. I don't, I don't know how to deceive people. I am obedient. I'm being confident. It's me to say the truth. To have character, capacity, and to be consistent. Sir, there is no word. The only thing I will say is, for example, in your own work, keep on grinding, keep on hustling, but don't expect anything from the government. That's why today, for example, the Eagles are driving. Because they don't expect anything from the government. They have sidelined them. And they know that the government cannot do anything for them. They keep on hustling and they are progressing. So Nigeria, that's why that, that mentality is working with me. I don't expect anything from the government. So you too. As a Nigerian, don't expect anything. Keep on hustling, keep on working. This government is not for us. It is for only, that's, that's my opinion, for some selected 
some family and friends and some, and some created cronies. Not for an average man like you and me. Just keep on hustling, keep on working, and hope for a better. But I don't have anyone to come up anybody. I mean, for the next four years, no, nothing. That's my opinion. I don't think anything could come out of this movie. That's my opinion. Thank, Thank you very opinion. much, uh, Mr. Aliwa. God bless you, sir. Thank you for your time.